Hey everyone, it's Bridget. And I'm Michael. We are back today at the Texana Park Nature Center because Michael is going to talk all about the Texas rat snake. Now, Michael, you know snakes are not my thing. <laughs> so how about you go ahead and take over and dive on in? I'll dive in a little bit and maybe try to ease some of your fears about snakes. <laughs> uh, the Texas rat snake is a very common species that we have here in Jackson County. In fact, it's probably one of the most common of the larger species that we have of non venomous snakes. Um, they, they are found throughout the county uh, as well as most of East Texas. Gotcha. So this might be a silly question, but why is it called the, a rat snake? A rat snake. That's, that's actually a very good question. Um, it's called a rat snake because its primary prey are rodents. They eat mice, rats, even small rabbits. They also eat birds and, and eggs, but primarily it's rats, and so they get the name rat snake. Okay, so I, you know, we're out where I live, it's notorious, we see a lot of chicken snakes. It looks very similar to the snake, so is the chicken snake and the rat snake in the same family? Actually, they are one in the same. It's the exact same snake. It's just, the Texas rat snake is also known locally as a chicken snake. That's not its real name, but it's known as okay. the chicken snake. Uh, the reason it's known as a chicken snake is because, as I was saying before, they also eat birds, bird eggs. Well, when you set up a chicken coop, that's like a smorgasbord for this for this snake to come <laughs> okay. in and uh, to go in and try to eat chicks and eat eggs and things like that. Okay, so how, because this snake, I don't know if you guys can see it, it looks very long. How, how long do they typically get? Uh, at, at, when they hatch, they're actually only about a foot in length, but an adult, adults can get up to six feet. However, they average less than that. It's kind of like uh, Shaquille O'Neal's seven foot two. Are we all going to get there? <laughs> no. And, and so these guys average out around five, five and a half feet. Okay, so uh, one of the first videos we did, we did it over the bull snake. And when I felt the bull snake, it, it looked very slimy from afar but really it was dry. Mm -hmm. Is that the same for That's the same, same with this one. In fact, it's a little shinier because its scales are smooth. Um, I'm gonna hold it in here, I'll take it, hold it this way. You have to move this, you have to move toward me. And if you wanna take and just feel how smooth his skin is. Ooh. Is it slimy? No, it's dry. It's very dry, it's very clean. It's basically like petting a belt with muscles. And, and so, in fact, they're one of the cleanest animals of the animal kingdom. Uh, as a snake grows, it grows out of its skin. I want to ask you a question. And lie to me if you have to. <laughs> have yeah. you ever taken a bath or a shower before? Lie to me if you have to. Okay. <laughs> yes. Of course you have. Every time you take a bath or a shower, you lose small pieces of dead skin. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't take baths or showers, but they shed their skin off all in one piece. Nice. And so they're actually very dry. They're very clean. Okay. Well, so I guess my last question is, this specific Texas rat snake, is it here on display at the Nature Center? It is. This animal is on exhibit here at the Nature Center. And if anyone wants to know any more about the Texas rat snake or more information about it, feel free to come in and see us when we're open. Okay. Well, I think that wraps it up. Thank you, Michael, yes. for once again taking time out of your day. Absolutely. And then, of course, if you have not liked our Facebook page, please do so. Uh, like us at Texana Park Nature Center and then Brackenridge Recreation Complex. And, of course, follow us on YouTube, Brackenridge Recreation Complex. <laughs> sorry. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>